Hi guys, welcome back to TNG Productions. My name is Tom. And my name is Paul. And we are back with an unboxing. First proper unboxing we've done, really. Yeah. We've yeah. got the exciting Walking Dead yes. All Out War, which, what is this then, Paul? It is fantastic. Um, basically, if you're a fan of the Walking Dead comics, it is a game based around the comic books, um, rather than the TV show, which is obviously quite popular at the moment. Um, it's like a skirmish game, kind yeah. of like objectives based. Yeah, it's a skirmish style game. Um, they, they sell it as a, a good cross from a board game into a tabletop game that operates that way. We've played through it a couple of times with another set that we've got, um, and it's it really good, isn't it? It's, it's, qu it's quite quick, it's fast paced, it gets to the objectives, and if you have time to kill your opponent, kill your opponent. It's going to be great for battle reports, that's all it is. Yeah, it's going to be awesome for battle reports. It's from one player up to potentially three or four, we think, maximum, yeah. really. Yeah. Like, it's got a single player campaign that comes with it, which is basically the way the, the walkers work, zombies. Um, they're moving terrain, aren't they? So you can antagonise them. Yeah, and if you're like near to them, they will kick off. So essentially, you can do a one-player survival, but the way we're going to do it is small little war bands. And you have choices, don't you? You can wipe out the opponents and get the objectives, but that will cause mayhem, which will yeah, will cause problems, spawn more zombies, yeah. and that. Effectively, there's a threat tracker that operates throughout the whole game. So every time certain actions take place, the threat tracker increases. You start off on low threat go up to medium threat, go up to high threat, and then pretty much the game ends once the threat tracker ends. So there's there's a couple of different elements that can make the game end. And there's like event cards, so the higher the yeah. threat level is, the, the, the worse the situation. Worst, yeah, yeah. The more that hits the fan, effectively. Basically, yeah. Um, so yeah. we're going uh, to unbox it. I can't make my Scouse knife joke now, because we've already unboxed it. This yeah, is, we've bro broken broke the magic of television here, yeah. so we're just going to put this to one side. Yes. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, show you on camera what comes with it, but I hate these unboxings when you don't get to see like in detail. So as yeah. we're talking, I'm going to superimpose um, some images that we've taken afterwards of yeah. the actual models. So you can see them up close because they're absolutely stunning. So yeah. should we get to the miniatures first, mate? Yeah. You've got those over there, haven't you? Yeah, so I've got them over this side. So there's about 20 or 30 walkers, aren't there? About 20-ish we counted? Yeah, I think about 20 walkers and then the rest are all characters. So, um, just, so uh, this, is the, this is the first tray that comes when you open the box. Um, you've got your characters and you've got walkers, they're all one piece plastic. Um, they're really nicely cast actually, yeah, aren't they? Really nice casts, really good detail. You've got some um, fan favourite characters in there, obviously you've got the likes of Rick, um, but you've got some, obviously we've got the Kickstarter set here. So you get Negan, so you get the Negan, pain machine. The big man Negan with uh, Lucille. Uh, you also get Abraham uh, and you get a exclusive Kickstarter Michonne as well. You also get a couple of extra Kickstarter exclusives, the likes of uh, the Sheriff's Badge, which is the, um, the initiative, prior, initiative yeah, marker or the priority marker. So whoever's got priority that turn has it. You get um, some loot um, markers. So in this case, another Kickstarter one was the the, uh, the bag of guns, which if you've read the comics or even if you've seen the TV show, you'll know Rick starts off going to the prison, yeah, going to his prison in, ta in town as police officer. Police station? Police station? Yeah. Police, office. <laughs> Police station, getting all the guns that are there and then setting off on his horse. Um, and you've got obviously Rick and Carl. Um, the models look beautiful as well. They are of a high quality. Obviously, they'll be on screen now as we're yeah. talking, but you've got um, clear for you, you. You're on painting duty for this, aren't you? No, but the actual, they're really clear cast. The facial structure's really, really nice. Mm -hmm. um, this vacuum pack kind of case has specific places for each zombie, so when you take them all out, yeah, make sure you know, make sure you know where they go again. What I'm thinking of doing is just on the base, writing a number. That's a that really good idea. That's where a they go. Good tip there for you. Yeah, so. um, who's your favourite model? Who do you think? I like Punk Rock Zombie. You like Punk, punk Rock, rock zombie. zombie is quite bad. Um, zombie wise, I quite like. Um, there's also Dreadlock guy. Dreadlock's on here at the bottom. <laughs> Dreadlock this all makes sense with the images. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So yeah, that's our kind of characters. Oh wait, you've also got Ronnie Zombie. Oh, that's... So the game is made by Mantic Games and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this particular zombie, who again we'll get a, a, a picture up, is Ronnie. Mantic Games. I love how he's just got like a broken ankle as he's catching Broken you. ankle, yeah. So that is glasses on them. No. Oh, there you go. Well, you have to suppose to green stuff. Yeah. You have to green stuff. Green stuff is glasses on them. Anyway, so that is kind of the first box. So if we just move that to put that to your side, my sir. Yeah. The next items that come with it 
uh, beneath are, first of all, a lovely Walking Dead uh, kind of dice pouch. There aren't many dice that come with this. This is your kind of QVC. <laughs> there aren't many dice that come with this, actually, so it's really useful. Nice little small dice pouch. Yep. And then I'll just take the plastic covering off, which is where everything will fall out now. Yeah. But you've got uh, scenery and character cards and equipment and all manner of bits and bobs. So again, we'll put uh, an image over the top of these individuals. We'll just talk through them. So scenery-wise, Paul, we've got four lovely cards, which for you and me are the best bits of scenery we could have asked for with the DC yes. and Marvel game and yes, with this on top. Definitely. Yeah, the, the, so the game's all 28 mil scale as well, so yeah. the cards scale up really nicely. You've got, um, there's four Basically, crashed vehicles effectively. Yeah. They use a sc pieces of a scatter terrain, I suppose. Then you've got barricades, um, and you've also got loot markers. So rather than the, the counters, which we'll come on to in a moment, um, you've, you've got, got physical, physical um, 3D um, markers for them. Next up, you've got character cards, which again we'll zoom into. We go, go straight to Rick, shall we? You've got uh, really simple character cards. The way they kind of operate is you put them in the middle of where you are playing, and everything around the outside, like equipment can be attached to where they've got stats, they've got pack, they've got head, item, body, and everything yeah. like that. Some characters have got their own weapons, like Rick's gun, you can start him with yeah. that if you pay like the points. Negan's got Lucille, and his card specifically says Lucille can only be used with Negan. Yeah. Everything's got a points value, mm -hmm. um, so when you're building your crews, they yeah. go with it, they've all got skills and everything, they've all got uh, you know different levels of nerve, how they react to the stress. Yeah, so what I was mentioning before about the threat level, the higher the threat level goes, the, the, you've got to start testing for your, your character's resolve, basically. If it's all going to pot, low nerve characters are more likely to run away. Freak out, yeah. just panic. And you've got characters who are high nerve, who can handle the pressure, the likes of Rick, the likes of Negan, likes your, your big characters, basically. Um, that will just say, bring it on. You know. Likewise, we'll put some images up of the equipment. The equipment is all pretty straightforward. The different coloured <coughs> dice you've got are red is kind of your average, actually, isn't it? Like you're yeah, yeah not red, a professional, red, yeah, really. Red's, red's your basic sort of. It's um, they're not when we say dice as well. The, the custom made dice for the game. Yeah. So you've got red, white, and blue. Um, American flag style. Um, we've got red, white, and blue dice, which are effectively. Um, how good you are at something. So red is a basic dice, a couple of the sides are blank, a couple of the sides have dots on them. And the dots are the damage, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, really? dots are effectively the damage. They look like gunshot blasts, blasts yeah. sort of, don't they? You've got white dice, where you've only got one or two sides blank, but have got more sides that have got a higher number of dots on. And then you've got the uh, blue dice, which are effectively your, your master level of, of of this saying, uh, whatever it would be, be your, your ability to shoot or your ability in combat. You so, know, like Negan with Lucille is rolling like two blue dice, <laughs> isn't he? Just basically murdering yeah, white I don't think it's that quite high, but he has got blue dice on his card. Um, but yeah, um, just basically means that you're really good, and that's a dice that's just covered in, in markers or dots or whatever they're called. And then you've got black dice, which you're kind of flipping the coin, dice. aren't they? Yeah, yeah you kind of like if there's anything uncertain, use the black dice to decide yeah. it. Or if it's kind of like an event card, which yeah. we'll come on to, which um, kind of reacts to the tracker as you said so as the, yeah, yeah, as the, the game goes on the threat level goes up it's 20 I think back to 18 or 20 isn't it yeah um, and each event card which we'll show on camera again um, has different levels so when things are all quiet or relatively low threat the worst thing you might get is a zombie rocks up yeah, or a yeah. bit of noise goes off when it's high threat level though all manner of stuff kick off that yeah. really dramatically escalate the game because it does have this beautiful balance between slow start fighting yeah. to then all our hell we need to get breaks, out of this zone. Yeah, breaks up. So that is kind of our bits and bobs that are in there. There's a few extra walkers that go with it. Um, and we've got, like I said, our scenery there, which we'll yeah. show you some pictures of. And then finally, not only have we got that, but we have yes. also got um, the game map that comes with it and also all the tokens. So yes. Mantic very kindly give you the cardboard cutout tokens, same with any real board game, mm -hmm. templates. Yeah. And we've got scenarios. The scenarios, rule books. So if I'm not mistaken, the this Kickstarter comes with the core game and also the first expansion, which is the Atlantic Camp. So you've got the campaign book for the Atlantic Camp. With this, you've got a read this first, which is effectively a quick play scenario. So that says, get this specific character, this specific character, and this number of zombies. And there's how you play through. And yep. it's just quick, easy, go for it. Um, you've got two paper mats yep. um, which are kind of like rubbly roads and that aren't they and it's like an outback one isn't it yeah so you've got roads and a field type thing and I'm, I think they connect together we've not I've not either. tried it but I think they connect together for obviously making a bigger game and then as Tom was saying you've got 
the back the back here which is just a uh, hard cardboard which is just pop out and it's got the so in this as we said you get the 3d terrain but in the core game you've got not kickstarter you've just got the 2d card that you can pop out for the barricades and the loot crates and obviously damage tracker and things like that and the uh, explosion template yeah, yeah that's, that's for, painful when that kicks in. A grenade. So right. you've got everything you need yeah. to get going, and actually the fact that you've got one-player campaigns is perfect because you can kind of play through a campaign, get the gist of the rules like Paul did, and yeah. then when you show another player like you did with me, yeah. you've it's already got it down, awesome. and you know the characters, and you've got the gist of it. So it's an absolutely fantastic box set. We will just continue to put a few more images on screen. Essentially what we are planning to do with this then, we've mentioned already in our 2017 video, which mm. is we're looking to do battle reports with this. Now we're looking at potentially doing a 3x3 three three mat, yep. lots of scenery, yep. Quite scavenging. Scenery heavy. Scavenging in a city type thing. Potentially three players, two to three. We're going to try, try it with two players, see how we get on. Um, mm. But actually the best thing with this game is it's very quick to play. But it goes from very calm to to all hell breaking all hell breaking loose yeah. within about ten minutes. Yeah, yeah. Um, we we played through the deal the night, didn't we? I think we had three or four games yeah. in the space of an hour and a half, and it just it just, simulates that kind of getting to a location, scavenging, and then we zombies went, hearing yeah. you. We went to initially try and kill each other, and then that didn't work. Yeah, we started making noise, yeah, and then more zombies to shooting each other, and obviously you shoot a gun, loads of walkers appear and just try and eat you. Um, so you go for a stealth or approach. Fall. There we go. <laughs> Ding and sad. But if you go for a stealth approach, uh, the issue is you have to move very slowly, and you're basically reacting yeah. to the walkers. And the problem with the stealth approach is, as the tension goes up, because it does naturally just go up, mm -hmm. more walkers turn up. So if you go too slow, you just yeah, get you know, penned in by down, all yeah. of the walkers and get bogged yeah. down in combat. Obviously, we haven't gone into the crew build and side of it yet. We've used used basic stuff. So there's there's characters that can calm the threat level and you know just basically say to everyone look chill out yeah people. rick can just roll the dice and just kind of yeah, like yeah. lower it by that many yeah um but um, obviously once we get get a full grasp around that playing uh, playing style as well and we're doing the list build and we'll, we'll move on to, to specific crews and equipment we and have like foolishly that. signed ourselves up for yet another yes <laughs> um, so mantic games who host uh, who, sorry who Made the Walking yep. Dead um, are looking f at competitive play rules for the game. We've and just unboxed it. We've said we'll go for competitive yeah, yeah. play. So what we've basically done is again stuck our foot in it, and we've we've basically got in touch with Mantic, and they've advertised on the Facebook group that uh, start of February they're having a open day, twelve player tournament, basically to test out the rules. We dropped an email and we said we're going to go down and check it out. It's two hundred and fifty point crews. Um, you can't use yeah. Negan. I can't <laughs> use Negan, unfortunately. I'm going to use Rick because I'm going to how to. Um, but we yeah. will update you on how that yeah, goes. Well, we'll keep you up to date on that. Obviously, I'm going to have to do a lot of painting. You think about doing them the comic book style, though, aren't you? The kind of black and white with yeah. a bit of like. Uh, what's the film with the red splash? Sin, Sin City. Sin City, yeah. Uh, yeah, Sin City style. And, um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a couple of tests on a couple of other miniatures, first of all, to see how it works. Because what, what I was thinking of doing is just. Um, basically priming them black, so you've got a base coat and then airbrushing over white Dusting. just to pick out so it kind of looks like that comic book effect, so it's sort of like a pre-shading effect if anyone knows what, the, what that basically is um, so I was, I was toying with the idea of doing that, I'm going to do a couple of tests first because I'm not 100% sure how it would This is why we have two boxes <laughs> <laughs> This is why we've got a couple of boxes of this But yeah, by the end of February we should be moderately knowledgeable in the game because yeah. we would have had to So if you've got any questions about it and how it plays and crew building that, do let us know If you want to do videos on it potentially of, of crew ideas, we will We're going to experiment with it for our battle reports Yeah, definitely um, But that's The Walking Dead All Out yeah. War mm -hmm. Cannot wait to play, we're probably going to go and play a game now actually to be honest because it's yeah, great yeah. Well, we've opened the box, it'll be rude It'd be rude not to. But uh, yeah, if you want any more information, we'll put some photos on our Instagram mm -hmm. and Twitter as always. If not, have a lovely day and we'll see you soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye.